people. There are really many people who live in hunger every day. It is always a struggle for them to be able to feed their children and family. And they will do anything so that their family does not go hungry. The love of this season is making a lot of people do certain things like kidnap, steal, and do a lot of things. Many people who engage in this ugly act sometimes cannot avoid the situation and the predicament they face. This is why it is always good to remember orphans, the widows, and the helpless. This season should be used to put smiles on their faces. Why you think, why you drink, drink wine and dine and dine. Remember that there are people who have not seen a morning meal. You understand? As you shop for, uh, for, for gifts, clothes and shoes for people and your children, remember that these are people who don't, there are people who don't even have slippers or sandals to wear. We should worry about the less privileges, the less privilege, the less privileges. Use this period of celebrating Christ to celebrate them and show them love and care. And truly, our kindness and good gesture will never be forgotten in a hurry. A woman who jumped over the fence to steal a bag of rice from a couple who left, who left was caught by a neighbor who was nearby. But instead of killing her or stealing or setting her on fire, the people who saw the poor woman decided to contribute money for her to use and buy Christmas things. This shows that there are still many good people in Nigeria and it is always good to be good. Even though she went to rob, they could not hurt her but help her in a bad situation. That is the kind of Nigeria we want. Nigeria where, Nigeria, where citizens can help each other, in Nigeria where we can serve each other, where a thief will be empowered and enlightened, where people can be saved. Hmm. Okay, meanwhile, someone said, yeah, nice one, the neighbor who caught the woman should have completed this humanitarian work by hiding the identity of the lady or or chop or covering her face either okay someone said yeah god bless you guys for this kind gestures some calling her a thief well hunger can make one to steal and not because she wants to to do that politicians are still and still stealing our money what is done to them and nothing nothing has been done about it let's just Stop praising these people. Okay, someone said, yeah, please forg forgive this woman. No, she needs serious help. After all, there are people stealing billions and nothing has been done to them. Okay, someone said, yeah, who is not a thief in Nigeria? Let him or her come out and cast the first stone on the lady who stole a bag of rice. Being thieves are scattered everywhere. In Nigeria, enjoying the loot with our, enjoying the loot, enjoying the loot money. Also, Buhari is the cause of all this as a result of his bad and careless government. Free this woman for God's sake. See, as much as uh, people have done this, no matter how it is, you know, the, what the writer said and all that, no matter what it is, <laughs> nothing will push you to go do that instead go and beg that is the best thing because the humiliation that comes out from this thing is too much you can imagine what is happening to her right now no need to thief let it be that the hunger won't kill you kill your family the best thing you do beg no matter how when you beg about 10 persons at least, if they don't give you, three or four persons can do something for you. It's not good. It's not the end. You understand? It's not the end. 
Because the humiliation, I can't imagine the humiliation this woman will be going through. Even though that people contributed money to her. She will never forget that day. And that day will still be in her heart. That is just the gospel truth. And everybody that sees her walking around will still remember that woman that went to steal a bag of rice and she was caught. Neighbors now contributed money to, to give to her during Christmas season. It's not a good name. Mm-mm. Even all these are politicians that lose our money, they went when when they are being called for questioning or whatever to give account. You see them, you will see them fainting. <laughs> it does not end there. The truth is that matter no no clear for anybody heart. We still no say you thief money, even though say you faint for court and all that. Are uh, we talking about those ones that have went to prison and comments? We all know that you are an ex-convict. That is it. It's just there on your forehead. No matter how you want to wash it, you cannot wash it out. So let's try and live a clean life. You get it. Let God finish his work. No need doing all that. We know that times are hard. But what the person know they do? If you make up your mind, say you know they do. You know go feed to him. No matter how, no matter how difficult things are, you can beg. And people will people people that has good hearts, they will be ready to help. Alright, someone said yeah. Hmm. Hey God. Now wow Christmas Wahala, you can imagine. Is this the way to help? Don't you think she needs Jesus more than celebrating Christmas? I would advise her to give her life to Christ and stop stealing a bag of rice to do Christmas when she does not know the Lord she wants to celebrate. <laughs> All right. So, hello, guys. I'm going to drop it here. Let's hear from you.